What's up fam? My name is Jess. I'm the creator of Pink Rex, and today I wanted to show you how I'm going to build a super affordable DIY trellis. I make videos about plants, video games, and much more, so if you like that sort of content and you haven't done this already, the next time you take the like button out on a surprise dinner date to Taco Bell, please pull out their chair for them and then quickly pull it away as they go to sit down. Also, please subscribe to my channel and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. All right, let's get started. This is going to be, again, a super affordable, cheap, easy DIY trellis. I'm going to be using it for a Sissus Discolor. I'll put a picture of it here. I have one. It's looking pretty rough, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm hoping that by putting it on a trellis, I'm actually gonna be putting it on a wall that gets some direct sunlight in the afternoon. I think it's gonna be a lot happier there and hopefully it gets some leaves back. A couple of fun facts about the Sissus vine is that it's sometimes called the Rex Begonia vine because its leaves really resemble some varieties of Rex Begonias. This type of Sissus vine actually secretes something called cystoliths. It's not necessarily because of its name, it's just what they're called. Cystoliths are made of calcium carbonate and they're little crystals or little nodules that form on the leaf surface to help scatter light across the surface of the leaf and maximize photosynthesis. That was hard to say, wow. So that's the type of plant I'm going to be building a trellis for. It does have little tendrils that it will use to wrap around the trellis itself rather than aerial roots like some other popular aeroids like Monstera or Monstera addisonii, types of philodendrons, etc. It has tendrils, which are like the things you see on grapevines. They're cute little curly cues. So you're gonna need a couple of things for this project. You're going to need popsicle sticks or something very similar. I'm using popsicle sticks because I had a whole bunch laying around. I tend to save them for projects like this. Otherwise, I also do use them to prop up plants if they're kind of struggling or if they need a little extra support. The next thing you're gonna need is something to cut the popsicle sticks with. This is probably not the recommended tool, uh, these are just pruners, but I know that they're used to cut branches. I've used them to cut branches before, so I figured they'll probably work just fine for this. You're going to need a hot glue gun. The last thing that you could use, totally optional, is to get a little size and shape sort of thing. You could make these in little squares or into hexagons. I chose hexagons because I think they're cute. So I'm just going to start by taking all of my popsicle sticks and cutting them in half like this. Could save these two and use these two little short guys for the base. Perfect. I do have this one that's left over from a little pot I had labeled. It was a pot of mint, apparently. Usually it has mint on it. And I'm just gonna cut this one down to match the rest. And now I'm going to use my little my little uh now I'm gonna use my little template to sort of assemble the sticks in a way that is gonna make sense, I guess. Question mark. So here's my little template. And I'm just going to try to have all of the rounded bits facing the same way so it's going to come out a little bit more uniform. And I'm just going to be lining them up along the outside edge like that so that all of the rounded bits are facing the same way. You certainly don't have to do it this way. I think that this is going to make your life a lot easier down the line. I'm not sure why. Just because. Just don't. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. It's fine. Hot glue solidifies super fast, so you're gonna have to work really fast um, once you put that little drop of glue down. And again, just like two really small dots. Of, oh my God. There we go. Stick number uh, five is glued down. And our last one here, just to go on the top. There we go. Divine. And I'm just gonna do that uh, over and over again, I guess. <laughs> so because I'm doing it sort of a janky way, <laughs> Affordable. I like to say affordable instead of janky. It makes me feel better about it. Yeah, and I'm just going to stack them like that. And then boom, they're going to be stuck together forever. Together forever. And yeah, you pretty much just keep doing that for the rest of your existence. And eventually, you'll have a trellis. Woohoo! Look at that. We're building things together. Yeah, that's, that uh, is a little crooked, but you know, could be worse. Could definitely, definitely could be a lot worse. <laughs> So this is the bottom trellis. So now the bottom one of the two, I'm actually going to use as the top of the next one. Yeah, just gonna keep doing this forever for the rest of my life, for the rest of my existence. I will be doing this until I eventually have a trellis made out of popsicle sticks. And I have just realized that there's no way you can have all the sticks facing the same way, but I would say per hexagon, try to keep them as facing the same way as possible. Starting to look like something. Definitely, I think it's definitely a bunch of popsicle sticks glued together, but that's okay. Well, be smarter than me and count your popsicle sticks before you start. Figure out your design and figure out how many you're gonna need. This looks really cool though. I do like how this is turning out. So it looks kind of like a like a little bumblebee honeycomb situation. I might even paint it yellow and put a little bee on it. That would be so cute. So I changed my mind and I'm actually just going to hang this right onto the wall 
and then it won't matter quite so much. Our trellis is done. Ta-da. And now I will show you my absolutely hideous uh, sissus vine. It's not pretty, so be warned. I know, okay. In its defense, it was battling with spider mites on top of the fact that it has completely outgrown its pot. I have since resolved that issue. Not looking real, real good. So this is a tendril. Tendrils and other things that aeroids use to grab onto things like aerial roots help in a process called thigmatropism, which is how plants stabilize their leaves and stems while they grow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take him out of this pot and I'm going to be putting him in something that I can hang on the wall and have him kind of grow up this, this situation that we have created. In any case, if you liked the video, if you got something from today's video, please, the next time you take the like button out on a surprise dinner date to Taco Bell, pull out their chair for them and then quickly pull it away right as they go to sit down. Also, please remember to subscribe to my channel, drop a comment down below if there's anything you'd like me to cover next or any little plant DIY type projects you'd like me to do in the future. I love doing this sort of thing. I just wish I had had more popsicle sticks for this, but I will get more and then it will be, I'm sure, much tw probably twice this big. <laughs> I will post a picture of that to my Instagram if you'd like to go follow me there. It's under the same name as it is on here. It's just Pink Rex with two X's. I also have a ton of content over on TikTok. My username is the same pretty much on all platforms. It's just the pink Rex with two X's. Also, as a side note, if you are here from TikTok, if you had followed me on TikTok and come over here, drop a comment down below and let me know. I would really like to know who from my TikTok following has come over to my YouTube to join me here on this adventure. So whether I see you on one of the platforms I just listed or down in the comment section below, just know I really appreciate you being here and I still have no idea what I'm doing. Kidding's fine. Here's my jumble of popsicle sticks. If you... <laughs> stayed a little extra bit here, please let me know in a comment and tell me what you do for your sissus. If you have one, tell me how you keep it happy. I know they like a lot of humidity and a lot of light. And I think I'm mostly struggling with both. <laughs> okay, anyway.